Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Photographer Video Series. Today we've got something a little bit different. It's not a short workout like the ones we've been doing. It's a little bit longer, but it is total body. Um, it's going to get arms, legs, core, around the middle, everything. So take a look at the movements. You'll see a list here. I will demo them one time before we get into it and we'll get started. We'll start with our warm up, starting with jumping jacks. Remember, the jumping jack you can also do as a step jack if you can't bounce on your knees and ankles. But if you can, then jump. We warm up our muscles, raise our body temperature a little bit to get muscles and joints and everything ready to work out. Doing great. Do this at your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me. If you want to go faster, by all means. But right now we're warming up, so we just want to keep a nice, easy pace. We're going to bring that down. We're going to keep our legs moving a little bit. During the warm up, we don't want to cool down. So in between movements when I'm demoing, keep your feet moving. Here we go. This exercise, palms up towards the ceiling. We're going to make tiny movements, but they're going to be fast. If it's too much to keep your feet moving, you can stand still. But this is warming up our upper body, so keep your arms moving at all costs. Keep those circles tight, keep those palms up, keep your arms at shoulder height. Now we're going to switch and go backwards the other way. So whichever direction you were circling a minute ago, switch it up and go the other way. Now all the while you're doing this, you want to work on keeping your tummy tucked in. Keep those abdominal muscles tight. Helps to build strength in our core area. Good. Bring that down. Remember, keep the little bit of walking going in between movements as we warm up. Now the next movement, we're going to pretend we have a jump rope in our hands. Now if you have a real jump rope and you want to go ahead and do that, by all means, do so. But we're going to do small arm circles inside as we jump. If you can't jump, keep the arms going and just raise your stepping a little bit higher. But if you can do that jumping, you can do fun things with your feet like you did when you were a kid. But the main key, keep the body moving. If you want to switch it up in between, Keep those wrists twirling. We're going to come down now. Slow it down a little bit. Keep your feet moving. Now we're going to do a scissor arm. So this time, we're coming in front with our hands. Shoulder height again. Palms down this time and we're going to do a fast crossover. See, I'm going one hand over, one hand under, switching it up. Keep your core tight. Keep that tummy tucked in. Good job. Your upper body should feel nice and warm at this point. Bring it down. Now we're going to do some stretching now that we're warm. Your feet shoulder distance apart. Bring your arms up as you inhale. Exhale down. 
This time as we inhale up, bend your knees a little bit as you go up. When you come up, come up on your toes. Reach for the ceiling and hold that up on your toes. Come down. Again, up on your toes. Keep that inhale and exhale going. One more time. This is really great for the calves. Last one. All right, good job. Come on down. Now this time, we're gonna go up with our arms, but not up on our toes. We're gonna grab our hands together at the top, tuck your tummy in, tighten those stomach muscles, and bend to the left. Get that good stretch in here. Come up, pause for a second in the middle, reset yourself, and we're going to bend in the other direction, stretching out all the muscles on the sides. Great. Come up, one more time to the left. Come up, and last time to the right. Good job. Okay, bring your arms down. Shake out your arms. Shake out your legs a little bit. And we're gonna get right into our workout. For the workout, you might want a stability chair. We're not going to actually use it in the workout, but we will be doing some single leg things. If you feel more stable with a chair to hold on to, please go get that. Go gather the things you need, including your water. It's getting warmer and we have to make sure that we stay hydrated. And meet me back here. All right, welcome back. Got your stuff as you need it. We're gonna start out from the list with our jumping jacks, 30 seconds. Now, you wanna pick this up a little bit faster than our warm up. And we're actually into the working out phase now. And once again, if you need to, bring it down and do a step jack to finish it out, but keep moving. Very important. Get your breath, get right back into that jumping jack. Five more seconds. Awesome, bring it down. Next movement is a back lunge with a cross. So, crossing my leg behind. Now you can go in deep, as deep in this lunge as you are comfortable with. If you're not comfortable bending your knees that much in a lunge, just cross one leg over behind the other. But if you can, work those cross muscles. As always, we're tightening our tummy muscles as we do this, keeping everything Strong. Three, two, one. Come back to center. Now we're going to go into high knees. High knees, if you remember, the goal is to get our knees up to our hands. If you can do this in a jog, pick it up. We're ramping up the intensity here a little bit today. Again, if you have to slow it down a little bit, catch your breath, bring it down, but all the time keep moving. When you catch your breath, pick it back up. It's 
three, two, one, down. Good job. Okay, as we're explaining in between, keep your feet moving. The next movement is a squat. You want your feet hip distance apart or wider. Sometimes shoulder distance is better. Hips go back first. We don't just drop down over our knees. Our hips go back and we come up. As you need to. As deep or as shallow as you've got today. Readjust your feet however you have to to keep this moving. The squat is a movement we do not want to do fast. Nice and slow and controlled. This movement should not create any pain in the knees. If it does, don't go so deep. And also, make sure you're going back first in your hips and not coming down over your knees. Push up through your heels to stand up, just like getting up and down out of a chair. So you see why we call these movements functional movements. We use them every day of our lives. Three, two, one, and time. Next movement. We're moving right along here. We're adding our pretend jump rope. So we've got our jump rope going here. Again, like with the other one, in the warm up, you're going to keep your hands moving. If all you've got is a little bit of a march, that's cool. If you can actually get a jump in here, that's even better. Work at your pace, whatever that is today. We all have different days. Sometimes we'll be stronger, sometimes not so much. The important thing is to move. And again, if you get winded, come on down, but just keep everything going. We got another 15 seconds going here with our jump rope. If you can pick it up again a little faster, do so. In five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Keep those feet moving. Okay, this one's a little different and this one's fun. You're gonna start with your feet about hip distance apart. Your hands, you're gonna make fists by your side and you're gonna twist, punch to the side, come back. Twist, punch to the side, come back. Now watch, I'm gonna come up on my toe on that side. I'm gonna pick up the speed a little bit. Now if you're really feeling good today, you can come down and pick up the speed. This really works the muscles along the side of your body the core, pretty much everything. Your arms, your shoulders, your upper body. We got it all going here. In five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. We're gonna do 30 seconds of rest here. Then we're gonna do round number two. Jumping jacks. Keep 
keep it going. If you have to come down to a step jack, do that. You got another 10 seconds here. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Okay, next one. Crossover lunge. Just like this squat, this is not one we do fast. And it does not matter what you do with your hands for this. If you're more comfortable with your hands on your hips, you want to hold them together for balance, whatever works for you today. Pull in your core as you do that lunge. In five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up. Next movement, our high knees. If you need to do it in a march, do it in a march. Start out that way. If you can pick it up into a jog, Again, we're tightening everything around the middle. Watching the clock here, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down, awesome. Right into the next movement, our squats. Again, always remember, hips go back first. Whatever you want to do with your hands, doesn't matter. This is all a lower body work. <clears throat> Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Remember, anytime during this workout, if you need to get a drink, grab your water. Dehydration is not your friend. All right, going back into our jump rope again. We're going to get those hands going first. Start out slow if you want to. Keep that marching going. Make sure your hands are in sync with your feet so you don't trip over your imaginary jump rope. When you're ready, pick it up a little bit. Great job. Keep it going. If you have to slow it down again, slow it down. Just keep moving, always keep moving. Here we go, in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring it down. Last movement. Remember our punch twist. Start with your hands, palm up by your sides. Twist and punch. Great. Make that twist and that punch go out at the same time. Fantastic job. We're tightening these core muscles again. Pull those tummy muscles in. Wonderful. You're going to get a little lower with this, you can. In three, two, one, come back to center. All right, very good. That's the end of our cardio and muscle workout. I've got a core strengthening part for you next. You're going to need something to lay down on. If you're on a carpet, that's fine. If you have a yoga mat or an exercise mat, you might want to grab that and meet me back here. Welcome back.
we're going to get into our core and ab workout here. The first movement we are going to do is an inchworm or walk out to a plank, more descriptive. So you're going to stand with your feet about hip distance apart. You're going to bend down, walk out to a plank position, walk back up, and stand up. We're going to do this four more times. Again, this is a slower movement, so don't rush this. And again. And once more. And this time, we're going to drop to our knees, and we're going to come up into a plank hold. There's two ways to do the plank hold. We're going to time this for 30 seconds. However, if you can't do it for that long, come down and rest, and go back up if you can. So the two ways to do the plank are from your hands like this, or if that's too hard, come on down to your forearm, stretch your legs out behind you, and hold the plank like this. Either way, make sure you're not dropping down or pushing up, that your back is flat. And here we go for our 30 seconds. All right, drop down out of that plank hold. We're going to flip over this time, and we're going to do a bicycle. So with the bicycle, you're going to lay flat on your back. You put your, put your hands on the side of your head. I don't like people to interlace their fingers behind their head because I don't want you pulling on your neck. So put your, just put your hands on the side of your head, bring your knees up, and you're going to go opposite knee, opposite elbow as you twist from side to side. And we're going to do this movement for 30 seconds. If you can speed it up, go ahead. If not, Keep it slow. And whatever you do, if you have to slow down, that's fine. But keep moving. In four, three, two, and one. Come on down. From here, we're going to go into a bridge. With the bridge, you're going to again lay on your back. Your feet are going to be flat on the floor outside of your hips. Your hands are going to come down by your side. Roll your shoulders under so that there's an arch in your back. And what you're going to do is push up by squeezing your glutes. So this is a slow movement, and we're going to do 10 of these. So nine more. Nine. Keep that stomach area tight when you do this. Eight. And squeeze your glutes. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to come on up into a sitting position now. And we're going to stretch out 
our side. So you're gonna take your left leg, if you can, if you can do this in a chair if you want as well, just by seating and twisting. If you're seated on the floor, your left leg is straight, your right foot is on the floor by your left knee. You're gonna wrap your arm around that right leg and twist to the back. And we're gonna hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna switch it up. Right leg goes out straight, left foot comes up by right knee. We're gonna hug that left knee and twist. And you're gonna feel this not only in your middle, but you're probably going to feel it in the hip of the leg that's bent. And that's a good thing. It's kind of a dual stretch. And we're gonna come back out of that as we come up off the floor and conclude our workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this version of the photographer workout. Come and visit us next time. Take a look at my other videos. You can see the link up here. Subscribe to my channel. We always get brownie points if you subscribe and visit my website. Um, I'm also available for individual consultations. You can find the information on my website and send me feedback. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much and see you next time. Mm -hmm.